Hello, welcome to another in our series of InterGraph CADWorks and Analysis Solutions videos featuring CADWorks. Today you will learn about the SpecView palette. We will review the core makeup of this tool and the options you have. This palette contains two tabs. The SpecView section displays available components that can be inserted. The Settings section allows you to display specific information and in certain ways. CADWorks components can be drawn many ways. One way is by using toolbars, another way is the command line, and the spec view palette. This tool allows users to make size and specification selections. The spec view palette also gives quick access to a line number drop down setup. This setup conveniently allows users to set their process line information very quickly so they can get started modeling a lot faster. The spec view palette will operate as a filter and will list all available components on that, based on that size and specification setting. Components can then be easily chosen and modeled. As you model reducing components, you'll notice that the spec view palette inverts the size selection, making it easy for you to continue modeling without a worry. This palette contains a tab called Settings that allows users to customize certain information. You can customize from components that are displayed to how the information is shown. Optional components that are available in the spec can be easily checked on to be shown in the tree. This also applies to thread and socket weld components. Just as we control what components are displayed, the tree option allows users to list components in a numerical order based on the source sequence or by category. You can even create your own custom view. The color scheme in the tree can also be changed. Simply go to the legend where the color options are displayed and choose another color for the main reducing and optional components. One last thing, be reassured that all AutoCAD functionality that you are used to also works with this palette. So if you want to dock the palette, you can do just that. Keep in mind, if you right click on certain components in the tree, you'll have even more options. For instance, the pipe component will bring up socket welder threaded pipe and by clicking by right clicking on the elbow, you'll be allowed to draw the component in the plan view based on the current UCS. Thank you for sharing your time with us. For CADWorks news, free webinars, or success stories, Google CADWorks Insider Blog.